Hi, I'm making this video today because I wanted to show the difference between using applique alpha's um, letters in both BX format, which is made for Embrilliance, and using Embrilliance and using just those basic formats like PES, DST, and um, whatnot. So there's a huge difference when you use BX for an applique, whether it's an alpha or design or anything, and when you use the original version such as PES. With BX, you cannot make any type of edits to the letters. And so that um, greatly reduces what you are able to do. And if you're going to pull these designs into Embrilliance, really, I feel that people are doing it so that they can make the edits so that you can um, rearrange the stitches and make it so that you can uh, put your fabric down on the letters at the same time or at different times. So right here on the screen, I have letters A, B, and C in our um, tall and curvy applique alpha. So as you can see, the letters are um, all together. And if you wanted, you could use one fabric for the letters and then another fabric for the um, middle insert, such as on the A and the B. But when this goes to stitch, when you save this in Embrilliance and you go to stitch it, it will not do it all together. So in order to save time, of course, you would want to actually have the positioning stitch of the A, the B, and the C stitch out. You put your fabric down and then the A, the B, and the C tack down stitch out. Then you cut and then it comes back and does these areas and then does the finishing stitch. Over here on the side panel, you can see you're not able to open this up, make any rearrangements or edits to do that. So if all you're wanting to do is just line up your letters, that's great. That's what you're gonna get from the BX um, using a Brilliant. So it's really great for using that if that's what you're wanting the BX for. But let me show you really quick on this screen, I have A, B, and C um, in the same applique alpha, but I pulled it in using PES. So now you can see over here in this panel that you can actually open up every letter, see each step that's gonna happen, and you can move these steps around. So I can take all the positioning stitches from the A, B, and C and combine them together, all the tack down stitches, combine them together, and then all of the, um, the finishing stitches and combine those together. This saves so much time when you're stitching if that's what you're trying to accomplish. Now, if you're wanting to do different fabrics on each letter, then perfect. With the BX, you'll be able to line those up, look at it, make sure it looks good, save it, send it to your machine. If you're wanting to use the same fabrics, and a lot of times, I know with different alphas and different fonts, sometimes you're wanting to do that. You're not going to be able to do that in a quick um, type, I guess I should say. It'll still happen. I mean, of course, you can still use the same fabric, but you're going to find yourself doing a letter, finishing up, doing a letter, finishing it up, doing a letter, finishing it up. So that's going to be the difference. So just know what it is you're wanting to do with your letters, with your alphas, with your names that you're bringing in. I know that if you're wanting to make um, edits to those steps, pull it in as a PES or whatever format you're needing. Um, otherwise, if all you're wanting to do is just line up those letters, pull it in as a BEX, as, I'm sorry, as a PX, type it out, bam, you're done, save it, great. So I hope that um, sort of helps with the confusion between um, whether to use BX or the original format and what you can and can't do with each. So if you have any questions, feel free to email me and let me know if there's anything else I can help with.